So we're right here at the Mobile World Congress. And hi, who are you? Hi, I'm Thibaut, I'm a Mi Explorer for the MWC. So you're like a fan of Xiaomi? Yeah. And, uh, and here you have the new Mi 9. Yeah, I do. So, is this cool? Yeah, it's amazing. What's special about this? The screen's amazing. The price, obviously, for, for 449 is really aggressive. For a full HD plus display, three cameras at the back, ultra wide angle, 48 megapixel, and telephoto lens. Is this, is this the, the color you prefer, the black one? Yeah, I'm really happy I got the piano one. It was like random? Yeah, so um, I think all the Mi Explorers got the black one. Black one, yeah? Yeah, uh, yeah it's really cool. It's really powerful. Yeah. Snapdragon 855. 855, um, this one had 6 gigs of RAM, 128 of storage, plenty enough to be... And that screen unlock is working? Yeah, screen unlock, I have a screen protector on, and even with it, it just works. But when did you put but, the screen uh, protector on? Just now? Uh, yesterday, when we got the phone. And it's like a special screen protector for fingerprint unlock or what? I actually got the same screen protector as my Mi Mix 3, which so I have same. here. Is yeah. it the same size? It is the same size. I think it's the same display, they just did a cutout. So this is the Mi Mix 3. It's yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, it's really cool. I, I think I help? prefer the, the hand yeah. experience of the Mi 9, because it's a lot um, lighter Why? and Why? Because thinner. it's thinner? Yeah. Because of that slide system, right? Yeah. Can it, is, it can be a bit heavy at times. So the slide that does the front-facing camera. Yeah. I think they could fit the front-facing camera down here, they and no could. need to slide. But I think they wanted to avoid the rotating weird thing again. I think rotating is fine. Don't you think rotating is fine? Sliding's fine too. Why didn't they have the camera in the bottom here? Because instead of the notch, you know. Yeah, That's what I, guess I think. It's a controversial thing. It's just it's more mainstream. People are used to the notch. Now. Yeah. I just think that maybe, what's it called, the camera can fit here, potentially. Yeah, technologically, possibly could, yeah. So, uh, what else is cool here? Do you think the battery is long? Have you tried already in like, uh, just one day? It's like for, yeah, almost a day, so it's a bit, a bit short to say. Can you put it max brightness? Yeah. All right. So, it has a nice display. What is this, AMOLED? AMOLED Full HD Plus. Like goes to up to 600 nits in broad daylight. That's really nice. It's very dim too at night, so it's quite nice. You don't have the 5G version of the Mi Mix 3, no? No, no, not yet, not yet. Can we check Maybe that a little bit more? The, yeah. the Mi Mix 3. So, uh, how is it a bigger battery in the Mi Mix 3? The Mi Mix 3 is actually um, a smaller battery than the Mi 9, and I've been managing to have a day of use like really, really yeah. fast. Are you really in full easily. brightness? Uh, yeah, I am not. So. Yeah. Okay. So this is also like an AMOLED, cool looking AMOLED. AMOLED. Uh, no notch. That's no cool. Notch. That's a really nice big display. So basically, uh, when people ask you what what is the coolest phone, you say Xiaomi or yeah, for sure. Yeah. So not I've, I've converted all my family to Xiaomi phones for quite a, a what, while now. My which friends. Xiaomi they have? Depends. It goes all the way from Mi A to Lite to. Mi 8. Mi 8. And how about so. these other guys in the same t-shirts as you, like this guy over there? Uh, is yeah. he uh, also a fan over there walking around? Yeah, the new Explorer 2 is actually from the UK too. With three from the UK today. And uh, uh, how, how many guys are you? Uh, how, how is it, Are you like looking around Barcelona having some events or something? Yeah, so we're going here for MWC, so tomorrow we'll be at, um, at the Congress. So that's really nice. Uh, with 20 of us, we're all coming from all, all across Europe. So that's really nice. There's um, Italy, Ukraine, Poland, um, UK, France, Spain. What I think that's is cool really about nice. Xiaomi is that they're trying to provide good stuff, not too expensive, yeah. right? I think it could be made a little bit cheaper, but it's still it's cheaper than the other guys. Yeah, I think it's hard to ask for cheaper. If they want, if you want cheaper, you have to make some sacrifices. So I think the Mi 9 is a perfect example of no sacrifices and amazing price. And if you want like a cheap option, there's always a Mi 8 Lite, which is cheaper and still amazing value. Um, so I think that I think they're doing great. Mi 8 Lite, how much is cost? Two nine nine. That's, uh, that's a good question. Something? I don't know. Okay. I have the price in pounds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks a lot. 14, just four years of our inception, we achieved 10 billion US dollar in revenue. Report. We are number four smartphone brand in the world with remarkable over 
32% of year-over-year -year growth. And in terms of open market sales in Spain, within only less than two years, only shipping many, many smart TVs to Chinese market, we start shipping uh, smart TVs to India and other countries. A home to more users. And also, speaking of smart lighting solutions, we also partnered with Philips. What does it mean to normal consumer like you and I? So I make, I want to share some of my thoughts about 5G. What does it differ? What does it mean to consumer? In my thought, I think I see three major benefits to the normal consumer. Number one, of course, 5G groundwork in China. We also make a remarkable uh, contributions and achievement in other standard bodies. Uh, clearly, I look better on the picture. I'm sure it was taken with Xiaomi phone. Um, so let me start talking about our partnership with uh, Xiaomi. It will be faster than the 4G transition. We have a mature smartphone user base. We have educated users. I love the opportunity to interact with Xiaomi fans because of you we have today. I'm not going to go to a number of examples, but I can just name a few. I'm not going to go to them all. Uh, video latency uh, of 5G. You can unleash the power of the cloud for every application and service. And we started to see a completely new experience of everything is connected all the time. Snapdragon 855 is the fastest mobile platform and is the platform that will drive you know, this new array of services and experience with 5G. Uh, at the same time, providing an experience that allow you to evolve connectivity and machine learning at the same time. See the power of AI coming to life on 5G devices. And this is two times faster than the nearest Android competitor uh, for a premium uh, smartphone. Gaming is the smartphone. And we see that with a lot of mainstream gaming now that went for cross-platform, which unleashed the power of mobile. It's one of the fastest growing industries uh, for the gaming, it's mobile gaming. And with that, we're actually bringing the premium gaming experience and that's gonna be available on Xiaomi phones. 5G, one of the world's first commercially available 5G smartphones. Coming to market very soon. It takes one second to download a 15 minute 1080p, 256 megabyte video file. It's pretty good, right? Yes, first of all, hi everyone. I'm glad to see here. And thanks for having us, Donovan and Xiaomi. We are proud to be here as your partner, the first 5G baseball. On the other hand, we would like to congratulate Xiaomi for another successful launch here in Spain. Thank you so much. It uses the same camera module as Mi Mix 3, so you get the same great photography experience as Review by DxO Mark and a lot of other camera reference companies. And just like the Mi Mix 3, it also has a dedicated Google Assistant button. It's very. So what will it cost? Well, you know, 5G has been one of the big trends of this year. You know, it seems like there are more and more 5G phones that are coming out. This is going to be one of the world's first commercially available 5G phones. And as many of you know, Xiaomi's philosophy is to launch amazing products at honest prices. We want to make sure that everyone in the world can really enjoy our products at the best possible price. So what does everyone think would be a fair price for Mi Mix 3 5G. Everything about Mi Mix 3 and also supporting 5G. Any guesses? 
Okay, I heard, I heard, I heard something over a thousand. Okay. One nine nine. <laughs> okay, I heard six nine nine euros. That seems like a pretty good price, huh? For a, for a five G phone. That seems pretty good, but I think we could do even better than six nine nine. Four nine nine. Starting five ninety nine euros. Our authorized me stores, me.com and many more main retail channels. Ceramic body, magnetic slider. That's pretty much it for today. I'm just kidding, there's actually a lot more. Um, now the thing about taking photos is that it can be pretty subjective, right? What makes a truly great photo? Maybe I think this one's really good, but maybe someone else thinks this one's really good. To so work with Cristiano and the entire Qualcomm team on this. And if you compare the 855 to the 800, just launched a few years ago, you can see the performance has already increased by 3.7x. It's absolutely amazing. If you compare it to the previous generation of Snapdragon AI performance, it's over 3x better. And if you compare it to a couple of other flagship phones, over 2x better. <coughs> Whopping Antutu score of almost 388,000. Five watts now to 20 watts from over 250 minutes to now only 90 minutes. And some of you might wonder, well, if it's charging so fast, is it safe? And the answer is it's absolutely safe. We've been working with some of the world's top companies, including the Print Sensor. And of course, it uses the amazing Qualcomm Snapdragon A55 with 20 watt wireless charging. Now for the price. I'm hearing some very high numbers here. Very high numbers here. So if we compare Mi 9 to some other flagships here, you can see most flagships in the market are selling at a minimum of 900 euros and sometimes go all the way over 1200 euros. So what does everyone think would be a good price for Mi 9? 600, okay, I heard 600. That, that would be a good price, but I think we could probably do better than that. 499, that's pretty good too. But maybe 449 would be even better. For everyone in Italy, pre-orders also start today across all of our channels. And for France, they also start today as well, across our authorized me stores, me.com, and all of our retail channels. Okay, someone said 25, I think you're getting a little bit closer. So the Me LED Smart Pool will be selling here for only 19.9 euros. Alex, please feel free to take photos. It is such a joy occasion to hear today. Let me invite back. I'll teach my good friend and partner Christian Amal to the stage to have a. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming.